Interstellar Lab Biopod is reminiscent of the makeshift greenhouse where Matt Damon grew potatoes in the movie The Martian. However, with a space grow box like this, he might not have wanted to leave Mars. This prefabricated plastic structure features four blocks equipped with UV lighting, plumbing, and powerful air conditioning. Inside, sensors monitor the plant's condition, creating the perfect weather conditions for rapid plant growth. Vegetables, fruits, and herbs are planted in wide trays filled with mineralized liquid instead of soil. The creators claim this system produces almost no waste, reduces costs to zero, and significantly increases profits, bringing space technology to Earth. Cubic Farm executives begin their product pitch with a stark warning of an impending global ecological disaster, proposing the switch from traditional field farming to growing greens in specialized facilities as the only solution. Their technology enables farmers to construct pavilions on their lands that operate 24-7, 365 days a year, and can replicate any climate, from tropical to cool and damp like Ireland, thus eliminating the need for complex logistics chains. With cubic farms, importing bananas from Ecuador becomes unnecessary, as the climate of Ecuador, Mexico, or Brazil can be recreated in a steel box in your backyard. Atlantis Subsea Farming Group, the leading manufacturer of marine farm equipment, has developed an innovative method for farming fish directly in the open sea using rigid cylindrical pens that extend hundreds of meters deep. These pens, equipped with video cameras for monitoring and life support systems housed on nearby floating bases, offer an eco-friendly alternative to artificial reservoirs. This method ensures that fish are raised in their natural habitat, promoting a sustainable approach to aquaculture as long as the fish don't stage a revolt and swim off to restore order in the ocean. Viet Pepper, a young company from Vietnam founded in 2012, has seen impressive growth, expanding from a 20-hectare plantation to 500 hectares. Their pepper harvesting process is reminiscent of scenes from Vietnamese movies, with women in wicker baskets and straw hats carefully picking the peppers by hand to ensure each fruit is treated with care. After being sun-dried, the peppers are sent to workshops where they are ground and packaged in glass bottles, preserving the pepper's original flavor. Aquaponic gardening is a project aimed at localizing food production addressing the current estimate that each ingredient in our food travels around 3,200 kilometers from its source to our plate. Aquaponic farms reduce this distance by growing fish and herbs simultaneously. The water in which the fish live is used to feed the roots of plants like lettuce, dill, and parsley, providing them with all the necessary enzymes to grow quickly. This method is eco-friendly and waste-free, promoting sustainable and efficient food production. Salmar utilizes advanced technology for breeding expensive, high-quality salmon, a process far more challenging than farming pigs or chickens. Their production areas are located both on shore and on the water surface. Salmon hatch from eggs in 60 days, spending the first 25 days in a hatchery. After hatching, the fries live off the yolk sac for another month before being moved to an aquarium with a temperature of 14 degrees Celsius and dim lighting. Once ready, the salmon are transferred to open cages where they will grow for another year. This process demands significant patience and care to ensure the successful raising of these prized fish. Sinambio Arc is revolutionizing agricultural technology with its mobile farm that fits entirely inside a standard container making it easy to transport by tractor or ship. About a tenth of the container houses batteries, while the rest is dedicated to stacked growing beds. Powered by solar panels, the farm can withstand harsh climates, even as cold as minus 40 degrees Celsius. It can grow up to 2,430 lettuce heads at once, with adjustable lighting, temperature, and bed spacing, allowing the production of up to 300 different types of herbs in one container.
Kamoka Pearl, a family-run business, is thriving by cultivating pearls on their underwater farm, where mollusks are kept in nets suspended from a cable. Over several months, the mollusks nurture a single pearl. When it's time to harvest, divers descend to the farm to retrieve the right shell from the net. Once on land, the mollusk is carefully opened with tweezers to reveal the shiny pearl. Skilled craftspeople then transform these pearls into beautiful beads, earrings, and bracelets to be sold. Firmamakri dwarf snails are packed with nutrients like protein, magnesium, calcium, copper, zinc, and iodine. Who knew that raising these cute little creatures could be a profitable business? Since 2011, a snail farm in Poland has been doing just that. It all started with a small room and 2,800 tiny eggs. Now, Firmamakri Dwar operates out of a huge covered hangar where snails live and grow under artificial light in plastic jars. They even have entertainment areas like a foil tunnel that serves as their amusement park. The farm also has nurseries where snails raise their young. Unfortunately, they only live for five months before they're big enough to be sent to the salad. In 1998, a company called SA Mushrooms started growing mushrooms in Australia. As you can guess from the name, they specialize in mushrooms, but they don't go searching for them in the forest. Instead, they grow them on high racks in a greenhouse. It looks like they're growing millions of mushrooms at once, with perfect caps and stems that are impeccably clean. The farm has a smart irrigation system that keeps the climate constantly humid. I wonder if frogs ever stop by to visit. <laughs>